All right, let's just put this thing on. Safety first. So the tolls along the First Coast Expressway, they are going to be going into effect here pretty soon. FDOT didn't give me a specific date. They just said sometime in mid-July. So soon. If you've been driving through this area, these toll gantries and cameras have been keeping track. You just haven't been charged. They're also keeping track of the amount of people using sun passes. Spoiler alert here, it's not a lot, about 20%. So if you are going to be driving through here on a regular basis, you probably want to get a sun pass. Now, you don't have to use a sun pass. You can go through here and do toll by plate, but keep in mind that that will cost you about 25% more than a regular rate, and you have a service charge on top of that. So if you're going to be traveling through here on a regular basis, like, say your morning commute, then you probably want to get a sun pass. Now the area that's going to be told will be from just south of I-10 all the way down to Blanding Boulevard. Now I know some people are not fans of toll roads, so you don't have to use this. You could still use Blanding Boulevard or Old Middleburg Road and use those for free. But if you do want to use this, Sun Pass is probably the way to go because it's much cheaper in the long run. So just keep in mind those tolls are going to be going into effect soon. If you want to buy a Sun Pass, you can find those basically at CVS, Publix. I think Walmart has them as well. So there's lots of different places you could pick one up. Reporting here along the Clay Duval line at one of the toll gantries, I'm Katie Jeffries, First Coast News on your side.